Hi, welcome to our segment, Cooking from the Heart. Today I'm with Samantha Martin from Juliet's. So Juliet's is an icon in Townsville and Sam is actually the baking manager and today we're actually going to be making one of the recipes that's not available in here but is actually one of your grandma's recipes with a slight twist because you're from down south. Correct. And uh, we're obviously up far north and tropical fruits and uh, berries are quite different to cook with. Absolutely different. So yeah. can you tell us what are we making today? Yeah. Uh, when I was younger, my Nana was the person who got me involved in cooking. And one thing that she always had in her freezer was a coconut loaf. It's very easy, fast, um, and it defrosts wonderfully. It's also very versatile, so you can eat it plain or with butter, or today we're gonna have it with pineapple jam that we're gonna make. Yep. So Nana was also a huge preserver and she got me really excited about preserving. So that's why I've decided to do this recipe for us today. Fantastic. It's super easy. It's a one pot wonder or one bowl wonder mixed with a wooden spoon and everybody usually has the ingredients in their pantry. Um, there's nothing that really goes off. And so, I'll just add that if you're in Townsville, you can get all the tropical fruit ingredients very easily. You from certainly can. The farmer's markets, yes. any of the side stands on the road or, Definitely. or wherever. And, and the pineapples are just stunning the at the moment. The pineapples are ridiculous. I snuck some earlier. <laughs> Actually, and... Um, and we'll make, we'll, <laughs> yeah. Can we mention our little... We're going to make an extra thing today too. We're going to make some uh, passion fruit cordial, which apparently yep. can be mixed quite well with gin. Absolutely. <laughs> and a bit of tonic water. <laughs> So what we have here is we have two cups of self-raising flour, one cup of sugar, so simple, coconut, one cup, you can use desiccated or shredded, or you can use a combination, and then we have one cup of milk. Also, if you wanted to make this dairy free, you could definitely also use soy milk or almond milk or an alternative. Is that it? That's it. This is so easy. You wait till you well, taste it. This, this, this is my is like, kind of baking this recipe. This is something that you can that the kids can make too, as well at home. And it's um, not a bad idea coming up to Christmas. No, as well, is it? Nana always had these, and I, I know it's simple, but I think too that's something else that I learned is that simple is always best. We're just going to mix that up. It's very easy, and we're going to pop it into a lined loaf tin. Now we have a slightly different oven here at Juliet's. Turn it around. So the directions on the recipe are for a fan forced oven. Here we use a static oven, which I personally love, but most people would not have one at home. Okay, now, can I just ask, this, this isn't on your, your um, menu not at currently. Juliet. No. Not currently. Not, it might not be. currently. <laughs> never, <laughs> know. Might, never know. Never know. We, we add what, things all the time. What sort of things do you make as a bakery manager here? What sort of things do you actually make? And I, I know you use a lot of local produce here. We do, yeah. We're yeah. really fortunate because we have a lot of customers who bring things into us as well. Um, the passion fruits that I've made the cordial out of came from Julie's auntie, which <laughs> is one of the owners. Um, Julie and Gary own the business. Um, and we have a lady who brings us kumquats, which are fantastic. So at Christmas time, we always sell kumquat jam and yep. we do a kumquat cake as well. Um, but we change up the menu. We have some seasonal stuff, but we make almost everything in this room um, and they just put it together down the front. So we make all our cakes and our biscuits, scones, muffins, loaves, but we also do things like hot cakes. We make savoury tarts. We make savoury muffins and... And, um, and I'm just going to interrupt, and yeah. Juliet's is actually, for those people who aren't from Townsville, well, yeah. well known for its gelato. Absolutely. Which is made on site, but that's for another episode. It is for another episode. We have <laughs> so a beautiful So we'll come back to that another there. day. But um, yeah, so you guys are actually very well known as a place that's always open. Definitely always open. fabulous sweets, gelatos, yep. coffees. Yep. From, what are the hours here? So we open at six o'clock, seven days a week, and we close at 9.30 except um, on Saturday and Friday we open till 10. There you go, yep. open all the time. Down. Actually, the one on the Strand, my dog actually used to love <laughs> the strawberry ice cream. I don't know if that's good or not. but well, I think we <laughs> are working on a doggy gelato actually. Oh, yeah, yeah Moko's <laughs> been doing that for a while, our Italian gelato maker, so that's yeah. something that well, you might be able to bring up. She liked the ones that were there now, so it was a step up from the uh, frozen raspberries my daughter yeah. used to feed her. So. <laughs> Fantastic. Um, shall we go on to yes. the passion fruit? 
Cordial. Which we're enjoying with some gin at the moment, but Absolutely. you can use it for lots of different things. Yes, this is it you here. You made some there. You don't necessarily sell it in the shop no. at the moment. Yep. We'll, we'll, <laughs> and we will sell passion we, fruit jam though soon. Okay. Yep. So, and we didn't plan necessarily to make no. this, so we figured that we probably should include it in the magazine with a recipe too. Because Absolutely. It is, it is a brilliant summer drink and coming into summer, using some of these amazing tropical fruits that are available. It's incredible. And I, I know in towns where you can get lots of different types of passion yes. fruit too. So. I was originally from down south and I'm used to passion fruit more like this, but I know one of the houses I was in, yeah. we had a yellow passion fruit that was like a banana passion fruit. Wow. Yeah, and it was green and it stayed green and it was like a yellowy white colour inside. Oh my and, goodness. But it was the sweetest, sweetest passion fruit you could ever come across. I just love how juicy these are. Look yeah. at them, they're amazing. So how many are you putting in? Uh, so the recipe is about a cup of um, passion fruit pulp. Yeah. Um, and then we're going to add some sugar, quite a lot of sugar actually. When I um, first made this, I used extra sugar, mm. but I cu have cut the sugar amount back. I feel like you need to let the fruit sing through. Um, I think we reduce, actually that's one thing here at Juliet's, all of our recipes are actually made with reduced sugar. So um, we always cut the sugar back as much as we possibly I, can. I think the palate now for a lot of people, I mean, a yeah. you know, most people who love food, our palates are used to less sugar. Absolutely. We've decided that real food is much. what we want to taste. Absolutely. Okay, so, so, so that was half a lemon? Yep, half a lemon. Uh, the recipe calls for 80 mils of lemon, but we're just going to do a small batch here. Mm -hmm. um, so we're going to use passion fruit, lemon, and we're going to add some sugar and water, and we're going to cook that for a little while. This recipe can be made with citric acid if you'd like, and the recipe calls for a teaspoon. Um, you don't have to add that, but if you'd like to have your cordial as a present that you can give at Christmas time, if you want to keep it in your fridge for a lot longer, you can. So it keeps for at least a month in the fridge with the citric acid. So what do you do with citric acid? Because I never grew up with citric acid. No, no. And, and so I don't really know how to use it, and I've seen it in recipes. Yes, so and it is, is it, a preserver, yeah. Is it, is it just a sprinkle, or is it...? Yeah, it's a powder. It's a powder. Mm -hmm. um, but most recipes, depending on how much you're making, I think a teaspoon's a a fair amount, but you can't taste it. That's what's yeah. so wonderful about it as well. But it just preserves it, it for does. a bit longer. Yeah. So once you've got your passion fruit pulp and your lemon juice in your saucepan, we're going to add the sugar. The recipe calls for about 700 grams of sugar. Have you put that much in? Did you? Just, no. Did I, I hear you mention that you're only doing original, half? No, I, yeah, I cut the sugar back. The actual recipe, original recipe that this is, um, I guess, I don't really follow recipes, I just get inspired by them. Yeah, but the enough. original recipe that this, is, this comes from, their sugar was 900 grams. So I have cut it back a little bit. I also think that um, it's worthwhile you tasting as you're cooking as well, so you can use less sugar. Um, yeah. and we're also going to add, the recipe calls for about 600 odd mils of water. Okay, so we're going to add that in and then... And what, pop it on the stove? Pop it on the stove. For how long? Uh, for about 10 minutes we're going to Is bring it, it up. That's all? It's not very long, but it does get quite thick. Just gets a little bit of thickness to it. Yeah. Um, this has been out of the fridge for a while. You could also have this on ice cream if you wanted to at home. You can have it in a cocktail like we are. So do you just bottle it straight away? Straight away. You take it off the stove? Yeah, in a sterili in hot sterilised jars. So, so just so people know, we've actually used this wonderful gin yes. that Gary, who owns Juliet, yes. has allowed us to share while we're doing this cooking demo. He loves gin. And this is yeah. from North Queensland, It right? is. So Mount Uncle Distillery. Mount Uncle Distillery. Yes. Lovely gin. We've just done it with some tonic water and some of the passion fruit syrup. That's exactly right. That's all it's done. And we've mixed it up. Very it's simple. fantastic. You could have it with water. You don't have to have anything bubbly. You can also have it with mineral water. Fantastic. Mm. So st stay tuned. We're about to take the cake out of the oven. Awesome. And finish it off for you. <laughs> very excited. Yes. It always rises up very cute. There we go. Now, you can have many this coconut cake many ways. As I said, you can mm -hmm. grill it, you can have it fresh, you can have it with butter, you can have it with mascarpone. We're going to have it with pineapple jam, which we're going to make next, and butter. Let's have a little slice up. Cuts really well. Uh, sometimes people love the end part, sometimes people don't. I'm an end part person. Are so you? I am. I, do. I like crunchy. 
Yeah, when this comes out of the oven, it's so crunchy, it's beautiful. Really? Yes, absolutely. I almost think my children could make this. They, I'm not 100% sure, but could. I think they could. Please, let's let's get you to try. I've got some softened butter. Now. Oh, beautiful. I personally like a lot of butter. I believe it makes everything better. I'm, I'm the same. Yeah, I okay, great. Butter. We've got a lovely sunshine jam. Oh, beautiful. There we go, Josie, you have a try of that. So, run a bit. I'll just cut a piece yeah. off. See how it goes with the gin in the I think, I think it's <laughs> passion fruit. quite nice with the passion fruit mm. gin. Mmm. That's it's not beautiful. very sweet, is it? It's mm. it's not like a, it's not a cake. Definitely not a cake. It's definitely a loaf, but it's um, so versatile. I love it. The jam's beautiful. Yeah, too. the jam's great. And it's actually got texture to it, which Absolutely. is really beautiful. Yeah. Mm. I don't I don't I don't like pureed. I like to be able to know what it is that I'm eating. Mm. I think it's really great to have uh, the fruit shine through. Beautiful. And we're actually going to make the pineapple jam, right? Yeah. And we were just discussing how amazing the fruit is here locally. It is. And that pineapple is so naturally sweet. Those yeah. passion fruit are amazing. They are. So let's go for this easy, easy peasy recipe. Another easy <laughs> recipe. This is the trifecta here. Um, the secret is to have beautiful ripe pineapples. Do not be using green pineapple. We really want to have beautiful, mm. local, fresh, ripe pineapple. If you purchase your pineapple and it's not ripe, please leave it out on the bench to become lovely and ripe and then use it. How do you know it's ripe? Uh, you can tell by the colour, the mm -hmm. smell, and pulling out your leaf. Yeah. And okay. I do find that the fruit here totally. has that beautiful, yeah. beautiful tropical pungent flavour. A scent that it does. you just can't miss. I love getting these at the markets on Sunday as well, and you can smell them before you even get to the store. Yeah. It's quite incredible. Um, we're a very, bit like very my lucky. Chanel perfume. Exactly. <laughs> yes. As I walk into exactly, a room. Exactly. Exactly. So the so great thing about this is that it's really easy. All we do is we cut our pineapple up, we top and tail it, take the skin off, and take the core out. And I'm pretty lazy, um, so I food process the pineapple, which is very easy, but not too fine so that it's um, pureed, you just want to process it so it's chopped up a little bit. And then we're going to cook that on the stove top with some water for an hour. And then that's going to soften the pineapple. And then we will add lemon juice, water and sugar. And then we'll cook it until it's lovely and gelled. And we end up with our sunshine pineapple jam. Beautiful. Yeah. Wonderful. Well, thank you for joining us for this fabulous um, from the Heart Cooking Program. Yep. It'll come to you every month. We've met the lovely Samantha this month, or Sam, as yeah. everyone knows her as. Sure. Most beautiful person in the world. Thank you. And uh, enjoy your coconut slice. I'm going to take mine out to my son, who's yep. been patiently waiting outside <laughs> for me. So catch you all next time. And pop into Juliet's to try some of the fantastic food that they have here. Yeah, we look forward to welcoming you.